there's enough money in this world for everybody to eat. Research, do your research, do your research. Like find a name that's timeless. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Kai. So I know you guys haven't seen me in, it's been about six months since my last upload. Um, there was a lot of things going on in my life outside of YouTube and just social media in general that I kind of had to regroup and get together. So we're back in a better place and I decided that I do love YouTube, but I think the approach that I was trying to take with my channel wasn't something that I was really comfortable with, and it was just something that I was kind of doing to do. Um, so I think I may have found my niche, and I decided to take my channel to more of a, we're still going to do beauty and hauls and stuff like that, but when it comes to the lifestyle part, I didn't really enjoy like vlogging and stuff like that just because I feel like... I'm one of the those like live in a moment type of people and I'll pick my camera up and start recording like at the beginning but then towards the end it's just like it's no content it's no footage because you know now I'm two drinks in and I don't want to hold the camera so we decided to go ahead and take a more business approach to the channel um, I am revamping my old business. I'm not sure if you guys remember um, Kai Collection K, but it was a custom wig business that I did own um, about two years ago. So I decided to revamp it and it's now called Me Kai Essentials. And as you guys can see from the title above or below, video is basically gonna be how to start a wig business in 2022. So we're basically out with the old, in with the new and let's just go ahead and get right into this video okay so the first thing we're gonna touch base on today is you have an interest which is why most of you are on this video right now which is starting a wig business so you completed step one of basically doing your research when it comes to starting a big business so my advice to um do your research there's a lot of resources out there and stuff now there's a lot of people um offering courses whether it's free or you have to pay for it um you have a youtube platform that you can actually do some research and find um other wig makers that you know give you free information on how to start a wig business i always say do your research do your research do your research um, with starting a hair business, one of the most important things that you do want to, like before you even start doing anything else, is finding a hair vendor. So um, I've been with my hair vendor for about three years. Um, I absolutely love them. However, before I got to finding them, I did have to basically test out a whole lot of vendors. Now, when I did that, Fortunately, at the time, I had a really great job and I was still living at home and stuff. So I had, you know, money to just like throw around and stuff like that. But I know a lot of people now, you know, we want to get into the entrepreneur side of life and things are kind of, you know, kind of a bit tight. So um, what I will be doing for you guys is if you are looking for a reliable hair vendor with really, really great hair, um, feel free to send me a DM or um, my email and stuff should be listed below. Um, I'll give you my hair vendor for free. I just feel like there's enough money out here in the world to go around and I don't see why we're paying for vendors anymore. So um, if you want that information, DM me on Instagram underscore k.doll or um, send me an email on my business email and I'll get back to you guys. But hair is reliable, no shedding. 613 is amazing. Their hair lifts. Um, no tangling, shed free. I think I already said that. Um, their knots are amazing. Um, I know a lot of people don't use 4x4 four four anymore, but my vendor does offer 5x5, five 6x6, five, 7x7s, six seven 13x4s, seven and 13x6 closures and frontals. So... 
let me know if you want that information so the next part in starting a wig business you want to create an idea in your head you want to lay out a business plan you want to come out with a name you want to think you know what do i want to name my business so keep in mind when naming a business, you want it to be something that is universal. You want it to be something that, okay, I can LLC this tomorrow and if I decide a year or two from now, I would like to add to this business and keep everything under the same thing that I can use this name because it's so universal. With getting a name as well, you wanna make sure that it's something more along the lines of Something that just sounds good to the air, if that makes sense. Like you don't want to really like, how to put this? Like find a name that's timeless. So five years from now, someone can hear that name and they're like, okay. Take for example, Rihanna. She named her makeup line Fenty Beauty. 10 years from now, Fenty Beauty is going to sound the exact same. It's going to sound like the, it's, it's going to ring the same bell in your head basically imagine if she named her business something like rihanna's beauty line you know like y'all get what i'm saying so basically get a name um you do want to go ahead and pick a color scheme of your business i would say go based off of your personality go based off of who you are as a person because your brand is your identity it's you it's something that you gotta wake up and do every day and it also has to be something that you love to look at so if you are a pink really girly person go for more of the light pinks and silvers and stuff like that because you're gonna attract a completely different audience than you would if you were to like have like hot pinks and zebra print and stuff like that y'all get what i'm saying like you want to basically attract your targeted audience the people that you would like to shop with you. Um, so we can get into a little bit about knowing your target audience. So that is a very, very big um, part of starting a business. So knowing your target audience is a very, very, very big part of starting a business. Um, who are you who are you selling to? So a lot of people say find your target audience without really explaining it. So with the wig line, you have more of the, the more expensive um, wig makers and then you have more of the affordable wig maker. Which wig maker do you wanna be? Do you wanna be the wig maker that's um, basically like supplying to like people in their early stages of college and you know they're they don't have much funds but they still want to look like a baddie on a budget are you selling to people like that or are you selling to women in their prime but with that being said it also has a lot to do with presentation as well as quality so keep that in mind when you are finding your niche and finding your target audience all right y'all so we touch base on target audience um as well so basically the approach that i want to take with my channel is i want this to be a wig, beginner wig maker 101 so everything that i'm saying in this video right now we're gonna have like broken down videos of everything like everything okay so do is get into supplies so i am just opening back up my business and i didn't really have much to like go ahead and like break the bank or anything like that so i don't have any customized boxes i don't have any like customized anything besides like my business cards and stuff like that so i'm gonna show you guys some really cheap and affordable ways to still brand your items um as well as you know save a little coin start off with these white um, boxes that I got from Amazon so I want to say they were 13 by hold on let me not lie to y'all one second there we 
time you're trying to look for shit, you can't find it. Okay, I lied. Okay, so they are actually 10 by 8 by 2.7. I do think this is a really good standard size for a wig box. Um, you can most definitely fit at least a 30 inch wig. A 30 inch wig and a couple other things in this box. You could actually probably fit two wigs in this box just depending on the length and everything. But I do think it's a really affordable cost efficient way to package your item without having to just put the wig inside of like a mailer or something and ship it out um i definitely do think presentation is key and the first thing your customers are gonna look at is packaging i don't know about y'all but when i get packaging or i get a package or something like that what makes me fall more in love with the company is their packaging so a lot of times people Keep their boxes or they keep their things to put the item back into whenever they're not using it so i'd recommend go ahead and get in boxes um you could there's a lot of vendors and stuff that does provide um custom made boxes and stuff but if you're looking for a cost efficient way to um package your items everything will be listed in the description box below these are the boxes. Um, so what I've decided to do with this is actually um, my sister has a Cricut, Cricut, Circuit, whatever it's called, the machine that prints the vinyl. Um, and I'll be printing out my logo on the machine and I'll be sticking it on the boxes. And I just got a pack of boxes for $25 and it was a pack of 30. So can't go wrong with that. All right, so the next item we have today is going to be the wig bands. Um, this is how it looks. Um, it came as a pack of five. Um, so this is how it looks. I remember my last, you know, go around with making wigs or whatever. Um, I used to actually go to the fabric store and get elastic and sew them onto the back of my wigs. With these, they actually have an adjustable um, an adjustable band in the back of it. So it does make it a lot easier for you to adjust it to your head because I don't know about y'all, but sometimes when I'm putting my wigs on, the braids underneath don't be flat flat. And I don't need my wig to fit the exact same every single time. So it does have a clip that you can obviously clip it out and clip it back in like that and you are able to adjust it as well and these i want to say this was 7.99 for a pack of five so um probably in my next upcoming videos um i will have a video on how to make profit um or like how to price certain things you always want to consider packaging supplies and everything that you use into your pricing, but we'll get to that in another video. Okay, so the next item we have today is a wig tagger. Remember I told you guys that presentation is key. So you wanna package, you wanna package everything like really nicely. So I got this, this, um, my nail's not done, but I got this wig tagger from Amazon. Um, it was fine um, and it comes with a bag fill of taggers as well as this box right here is the replaceable um tips for the gun so get that so you guys can brand your wigs um i'd recommend getting some wig tags so basically like a it kind of looks like a business card but it has your logo on it and you're able to basically write on the texture of the wig the length of the wig if you name your wigs, you're able to write that on as well. It just gives it a lot more professional um, look to your business. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next item. Okay, so we have a whole lot of Revlon boxes. I got these from Amazon. Um, they were like $3.99 for a box. I personally, I'm not a 1D type of girl. I just feel like jet black wigs are everything i feel like it's a very luxury type of look um so 
I'd recommend going ahead and getting a whole lot of um, Get Black boxes from Revlon. Yeah. The next item we have today is our She Is Bomb wax stick. So this is a necessity. If you want to be a wig maker, you have to have a, a, a wax stick. It doesn't necessarily have to be this brand, but I do recommend this brand. Um, it's called She Is Bomb Collection. Um, you can find them in your local beauty supply store. Um, you can find them at Walmart. Um, and she also has a website, and I'll, I'll go ahead and list that down below. Um, but make sure you guys get a wax stick. Shout out to you, Didi. Our next item is, and you don't necessarily have to use these brands. These are just brands that I'm comfortable with um, because I also do hair as well. Um, so the next two items I have, they kind of go hand in hand with each other, is my Cheese Silk Infusion and my Pink Glosser. Um, I use these kind of like for a finish um, look on my wigs. I just feel like, especially with bone straight hair, it keeps it real sleek, nice, and to the point. <laughs> All right, so I'm sorry if I'm going really fast, y'all. I don't want to make the video too long. Um, so the next thing you need is another necessity, um, Shimmer Light Shampoo. Um, this is purple shampoo. Um, a lot of people use blue shampoo, um, purple shampoo blue cancels out orange so if you do ever over bleach your knots i would recommend using blue shampoo instead of purple shampoo um to get rid of that orange brassiness so make sure you guys get this because you will be needing um some purple shampoo so the next two items that i have are some another important factor of starting a business and i would probably say buy this in bulk or buy the buckets instead of the little packets um, so I have a bottle of BW2 um, bleaching powder and some Superstar 30 volume. Um, I would recommend using these two to start off with. I know there's other bleach and other lines and stuff that you could start with. Um, but I feel like this is very cost efficient and it's very beginner friendly. It's not too hard to you know use so go ahead and get y'all some of that the next item we have is going to be it's not tresemme's walmart brand but it works the exact same way as tresemme um the conditioner is actually in the bathroom but i do use tresemme shampoo and conditioner to um shampoo my wigs as well as condition my wigs i feel like it works amazing it leaves the wigs really soft um i'd recommend getting the smooth and keratin um one not just the regular one um because you do want to keep that moisture and everything in the hair especially if it's like straight hair or body wave hair you want to keep the texture intact and i also do have the conditioner for it it's just in the bathroom and i can't get up right now so the next two items we have, um, I have some more of these, but I do recommend getting these. Um, these are Wella Color Charm um, toners. Um, I do use these toners if I ever do um, like ombres or highlights and stuff like that. I personally don't like the brassy look, like the brassy orange type of look. So I always go back and I tone my wigs. Um, I just feel like it gives it a real rich, type of look so you guys can go ahead and get these i want to say these are like 3.99 too um i got it for 3.99 at my local beauty supply store beauty depot so go ahead and get y'all some of these and i typically use um t14 and t18 it just depends on the shade that i'm going for with that specific wig so the next thing you guys want to get is t-pins 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 um get a whole lot of t-pins I don't know how, the last time I had my wig business, I can't tell y'all how many times I ran through packs of T-pins cause like they would just fall on the floor or I would soup it up and stuff like that. So it's always good to have T-pins. Um, it helps hold the wig in place on the canvas blockhead. Um, so it makes it easier to like plug and do whatever you just have to do on the wig. 
So the next item we have are some duck clips. I'm not sure what you got, or crocodile clips. I'm not sure what everyone calls it, but um, get you some of these. Um, it helps with parting and like just keeping the hair out of the way when you're coloring or just sewing or whatever you're doing. Just, it's just good to have some duck crocodile clips. The next item I have, which is already open, but I have a pack of gloves. I think it came in a pack of 10. Um, guys, please stop bleaching and coloring hair without gloves. Yeah, don't do that. I, I, I used to be one of those people to like actually start a cosmetology school. That's another life update. Um, I'm actually at a Veda Institute right now. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that in another video, but please start using gloves. Y'all gonna mess y'all skin up. Alright, so we have about three more items left. Um, I do have more things coming in. They just haven't been delivered yet or I haven't went to the stores yet. Um, but I will leave. Actually, I think I'm gonna do an Amazon front store. Is that what they call it? An Amazon storefront? Yeah, I'm gonna do an Amazon storefront with all the things that's included in this video as well as other things that I do recommend that I just don't have in today's video. But yeah, so that'll be listed in the description box as well. Um, so the next item we have are mailers. So this right here is a poly mailer. Um, I wanna say the size of this is 10 by 13 and it came in a pack of 100 for 10.99. Um, I think it is also a cuter way to package your items. I personally don't like to see my stuff on anything else that has USPS or FedEx or anything like that on it. So I'd recommend getting this. Um, it does come in different colors. There's some of them that have like drawings or like patterns and stuff on it i'm just a real black and white simple type of person so i went ahead and got white um so the next item we have today is going to be the canvas blockhead okay so guys this is this is a really really important factor of starting a wig business so let me give you guys a scoop on a mistake that i made when i first started making wigs so one of the biggest mistakes that I ran into when I started making wigs was my sizing. The reason why my sizing was so off is because I got the standard, I wish I still had one, but I, ha I got the standard um, dome head off of, well not off of, but from my local beauty supply store. Guys, please throw them, them um, canvas heads away. Those are not realistic head sizes. Um, they do come in different sizes, but they're not realistic. So you want to get the Jex. This is the one that I recommend to everybody. You want to get the Jex dome head because this is more of a realistic head. Um, you, the crown, the nape, everything on these um, dome heads, they're more realistic. One second. Your, your measurements come out a lot more accurate than you would get with the other dome heads. So these Jex dome heads do come in different sizes. This is the size 22, which is really the standard size that majority of people use. Um, I think they come in 21, 21, I think they have halves of everything, but 21, 22, 23, and 24 are all the sizes you will need for wig making. However, to begin with, I would personally recommend getting size 22, which is medium, and size 21, which is small. And if you do want to push it a little bit more, you can get size 23, which is large. But for right now that you're a beginner um, wig maker, I don't recommend getting half sizes as well because there are other ways to make adjustments to the wig cap to bring it down to that size half. But I'll go ahead and show you guys that as well in another video. So make sure you get that specific um, dome head for a more accurate look. This is my realistic mannequin head. Um, she looks like this because she's straight out of she's straight out of the box. So I got this from Amazon for hold on, let me see. 
there's different ones that you guys can get oh it's so unfocused there's different ones that you guys can get um i just like this one because her lips are a lot fuller and i just feel like it'll be a lot easier for me to manage doing her makeup and that video should also be uploaded probably a couple days after this video is uploaded um so you guys will get an insight on how to do the makeup for these mannequins and how to seal it and everything like that so this mannequin head was $49.99 for one um they do have the two piece where you can get two of them for $96.99 um, I'd recommend getting the two piece um, because it's always good to have more than one of these laying around because you might have more than one wig at one time made. Um, so definitely, definitely recommend getting this. Um, I don't like when I go on wig maker pages and stuff like that and I see a wig on a canvas head, I'm like, it's cute, but it's kind of like you want to visualize it on like someone's head. You want to see how it looks on someone's head. And I feel like the realistic canvas heads it gives that illusion it gives that that okay this is how it looks on her head so i can kind of see a vision on how it may look on my head so highly recommended make sure you get it yes so the next item that we the next item that we have today and that'll be the last item remember um i mentioned that we don't have everything today i'm just showing you guys what i have right now but everything will be um in the description box under my amazon storefront oh, this is heavy okay so the next item we have today is gonna be the sewing machine for all the girlies that will be doing um custom units so um sewing the units themselves um, so when it comes to sewing machines, guys, um, sewing machines does matter. Um, so when I first started off, I had a generic, I want to say it was a brother sewing machine. I, I got frustrated because you need a heavy duty machine to sew wigs for the simple fact that the wefts on a track, it's kind of thicker than just like regular cloth. So you need... A heavy duty machine that's gonna that's gonna basically be able to cut through and sew through those wefts so this one is a singer 44s i think that's what this one is the singer 44s it, it'll be listed below as well um and this is my second time using this the first business i had i used this loved it so i decided to continue using it um, I will have a video on how to make them um, on the sewing machine as well as the settings and everything like that that you need for the sewing machine. So while we're talking about the sewing machine, um, another important factor that you guys need to know about the sewing machine once again. Okay, so one thing you do, and it, it's a necessity, and I did not actually do this at my first business, which is why it was a little bit more difficult for me to make my wigs. So after doing research, um, this will be my first time using this. After doing research, I came across the presser foot that all the girlies are using. So um, this is the open toe presser foot. One second. Okay, so this is the open toe presser foot right here. This is the open toe presser foot. So basically the wefts sit in between those two, the two ridges and it holds the, it holds the wefts in place on the cap to sew it. So this will actually be my first time using this, but I do see that everyone else uses it. So I do recommend you go ahead and get this. And I want to say it was like $6 on Amazon and it is universal to any sewing machine as well. So go ahead and get that. Um, I said I, those are the last items, but I lied. One second. Okay, y'all. So these, this is the last item. Um, this is actually just a clothing rack. Can y'all see? This is actually just a clothing rack um, that I use for like my hauls and stuff like that, but I decided to go ahead and use it for my business. 
Um, so these, this clothing rack as well as these hangers, they're like clip hangers. Um, they go like that. You just rest it like that. And you basically clip the, the wigs on this part. Why is it not focusing? Okay, so you basically click the wigs with this part and it helps with um, air drying wigs or just, you know, if you're not working on that specific wig at that time, um, it just helps to get it out the way and, you know, just give it a better look. You don't wanna just throw the wig on a table or something like that, so. Yes, so. With that being said, um, that was the last of our supplies. Um, so let's go ahead and getting to how much hair do you start off with when starting a wig business. So this is a very, 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 very important um, factor in starting a wig business. So like I said, if you're doing it on a budget, this is what I recommend doing. Um, start off with enough hair for at least three to five wigs. So if you're doing three wigs, that's nine bundles and three closures or three frontals. Um, reason being is because this is, this is you know your first business. You don't wanna waste too much money without seeing how the outcome is gonna be. So that's what I would recommend um, starting off with. Um, you wanna determine what kind of way you wanna run your business. So there's three different ways to run a wig business it may be more but these are the common three ways on how to run a wig business so you have the bring your own bundles option you have the ready to ship option and you have the customized order like a build your own wig type option so i'm going to go ahead and break down each option to you um we will have a video that goes more into depth on all of these but i'm just going to break it down briefly so the bring your own bundles will be to me, the cheapest route to go, just for the simple fact that your customers are providing their own hair. So they provide the hair and all you're basically charging for is the construction. Now, as far as charging for the construction of a wig, you wanna pay yourself based off of time and product. So I would recommend charging at least anywhere from 100 to 150 to, customize and um to customize and construct the wig and that does not include coloring or anything like that that's just a basic customization and construction so the con of that was a pros the cons of people providing their own hair is you never know what type of hair you're gonna get so i would recommend if you do provide this option that you you know, recommend them to different places on where they can get quality hair. Reason being is because you don't wanna get stuck with a frontal or a closure or something that the knots are hard to pluck or bleach or anything like that. So that's the cons of the BYOB, which is bring your own bundles service. Um, so yeah. The next one you have is the ready to ship. Um, option which is where you basically you go ahead out of pocket and you purchase the units and you customize the wigs as well as you decide what size you want those specific wigs to be and then you put it for sale so with this option i feel like the pros of that is you get more creativity out of it as well as you are able to get content um to like provide first However, the cons of that is you have to market, 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 market. You have to push, push, push those wigs out there because you don't wanna spend money for no reason and not get anything out of it. So basically you wanna, you wanna go ahead and I would, this, that's the, the way I'm going right now just because I know I'm gonna push it and everything like that. I just feel like the, how social media is kind of set up these days, I feel like it's really set up for like entrepreneurs and stuff like that. So you have TikTok, you have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have Twitter, you have Snapchat, you have Instagram Reels, you have all these different platforms to market on. And I feel like if the quality is good, the, the service is great, everything is good, I feel like it should be 
easier for you to sell those ready to ship wigs okay so the next um the next one we're gonna talk about is the building your own wig and custom order service. So with this service, um, I would say the pros of this one is the fact that you're you're still not coming out of pocket because they they place an order on your website and you use that money to go ahead and purchase the wig. Um, so I think that'll be a, a better option as well. Only thing is starting out, you don't have much pictures or you don't have the credibility yet so basically these people your first set of people are going you know by faith they're, they're basically going by faith right now to see you know am i gonna get what the product that i want or anything like that but i feel like that's a it's an okay way to start a business um it's not for everyone um you also have to keep in mind that if you're going through a lot of websites like wix and shopify and stuff like that i would recommend with the custom order um the custom orders um, option to always have at least $500 sitting somewhere just for the simple fact that a lot of the times these websites like Wix and Shopify and even PayPal, they hold your money um, for long periods of time. I remember the last time I had my business, um, they held like at least like $800 in my account because it was a new account they had to basically like verify everything and stuff like that for fraud purposes and shit it's it's really stupid but um i'd recommend keeping at least five to six hundred five to eight hundred dollars on the side just in case you run into that hiccup um you will get your money back but it just probably won't be right then and there and you you need the money to go ahead and place the order with your vendor to make the wait if you get what I'm saying. So that's what I recommend. Those are the three different options that you have. There may be other options, but those are the three common options that you have as far as making, um, running your wig business or whatever. Um, so what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, okay. So another cost efficient way um, to start your business and stuff, and this goes back to the beginning of the video um, when I started talking um, about doing your research and getting a name and color and stuff like that. You wanna you wanna give visuals for your company. So that means like business cards, thank you cards, templates, Instagram highlights. Um, Instagram posts like you want to interact with your followers you want to interact with your customers and stuff like that and a great way to do that is to use canva.com which is a website to basically like make logos and flyers and stuff like that um, I'm thinking I may just make a video on that not sure yet I don't want to like be a graphic designer or anything like that but I am pretty okay at doing stuff like that but there are a lot of videos and a lot of tutorials on tiktok or um youtube and stuff that teaches you how to use canva and stuff so i think that's a lot more cost efficient there are a lot of graphic designers that do offer services like that and they do offer it in packages so you can also look into that as well um as far as printing business cards um thank you cards and stuff like that um i would recommend um using vistaprint.com i want to say you can get like 500 business cards um front and back for like 24 dollars and then just if you want the front it's probably like 60 dollars. don't quote me on that i'm just trying to remember um if you don't want to do the order way um i know you could go to like your local um staples or your local office depot and get those things printed out um however they may not have as many options as vistaprint would have where you can you know choose like a glossy um a glossy card or a matte card or different sizes and i know a lot of the times like people have a lot of like foil and stuff like that in their logos you may not have all those options at like staples and office depot and stuff um so if you do want you know more quality stuff i would say go to vistaprint um 
what else what else what else y'all i have a lot of videos coming um i like i said i do want to take my channel more down the business side i will still be giving y'all the hauls and stuff because i i do see y'all in my dms and stuff like that all the time asking me when i'm gonna come back with the hauls and stuff um like i said i just had to get my shit together for a little minute but um we will be coming with that so yeah uh if you guys have questions or anything like feel free to dm me on instagram like i am not a gatekeeper when it comes to anything i feel like <clears throat> there's enough money in this world for everybody to eat like everybody can eat and that's just how i personally feel so like if y'all have any questions concerns anything like that you can leave um your comments down below or you can go ahead and dm me on instagram and i will get back to y'all with whatever questions you have but i think this is the end of the video so um i will see you guys in the next video which should be uploaded probably like two days after that and i need y'all to hold me accountable because i be posting and i be disappearing and i be coming back and this time i just want to be consistent with it so i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching um make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye